This is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron Mini 10 Netbook with a cracked screen that we're going to show you how to replace. Okay, before we do anything, we want to take out the battery and not damage the laptop while we're doing it. Okay, so there's two levers on the bottom of the laptop. One on the right is to unlock the battery, and the one on the left, slide it to the left, and lift the battery out, like so. Okay, now that the battery is out, we can work on the laptop safely. Before we start working on it, well, let's go over the tools we're going to use. We're going to use a small electronics screwdriver with a PH1 head, or bit. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size of the bit. We also have a smaller PH0 bit, just in case. An X-Acto knife with a pointed end. And a pair of sharp metal tweezers. The first thing that we want to do is remove the bezel that goes around the screen. That's this plastic frame. In order to remove the bezel, we have to remove two screws in the front of the laptop that are hidden behind some rubber covers. So we use our X-Acto knife to take off the rubber covers and to expose the screw. So what I like to do is put the rubber covers on the side next to the screw so I don't lose them. So one and two. The next thing is we want to remove these two screws. There's one and two. All right, the next thing is to start snapping the bezel off. What I'd like to do for this just put my fingertips on the screen side and start lifting it up and hear for the snapping sounds. Once you see your snapping sounds, that's a good sign. You just go around. Now if you get stuck on a place, take your time on it and make sure all the parts are snapped off. And for this, there are some hinge covers that are stuck on there. So what I like to do is use my What I like to do is remove the hinge covers, they're attached, and then remove the bezel, like so. So this one is a little bit more trouble because the hinge covers are getting in the way, so kind of take your time and work your way out of it. So that's it. That was not as smooth as, as I hoped to go, but everything is still one piece. So just take your time on this, snap off the plastic hinge covers, and just work the bezel out. Okay, next we see the screen exposed. This type of screen is held on the sides by two screws on each side to the metal mounting bracket. And we want to get to these screws. And we see that it's, we can't get to these screws right now because they're still obscured. So what we want to do is pull the, tilt the screen forward a little bit, like so. And when I start removing screws, I like to keep each set of screws in a separate pile. So when you're starting to put things back together, you know which screws go where. So I remove the top screws, and there's some screws down here. Let's remove these also, like so. One. And two. Now that we did that, the whole back of the screen assembly goes back like this. And now we have full access to the screws on the side of the screen. So let's remove these one by one. 
And when you do this, have the screen tilted back so it doesn't pop forward on you. When you remove the last screw. So, and also when you remove the last screw, just kind of hold the screen with your hand so it doesn't just go all over the place. So, one. And this is where our metal tweezers come in handy. If the screw is stuck, we remove it with some tweezers. And finally, we remove this last screw. And the screen is loose. Now, right away, we see that the, the webcam cable is stuck to the back of the screen with some adhesive. So we lift up the adhesive like so, and it's still stuck back here. So we lift up the adhesive, and now the screen is free. All right, this is an LED screen, so there's only one connector. And next, we remove this connector. Now, Dell uses a slightly different connector type. It has a tab than other laptops, so be careful. So what we want to do is see, see, see this wired tab with some blue plastic tape. It's usually down like this. So before we remove the connector, we have to lift it up for the wired tab to lift up. And then remove the adhesive on the back of the connector. And then we slide it out and the screen is free. Okay, now before we go any further, the biggest mistake that I see people make when they put the new screen in is that they don't connect the connector properly. When you put it in, you almost you slide it in, and you almost feel like a snap or a click when it's in properly. Right now it's in properly, so I'm gonna zoom in the camera right on top, Okay, now pause the, your video right there, and then make sure that your connector, when it's connected again, looks exactly like this. Okay, so let's remove the connector again, and let's take a look at the screen. This is a standard 10.1 inch LED screen, WSVGA. Let's take a look at the part number. It's LP101WSA. That's the part number you need to know when you do the search. Now there's about eight or nine different manufacturers that make this exact same screen. So the part number that you get will most likely be different. Now Screen Surgeons also sells this screen and we provide free email technical support for you when you do your installation and we also have a compatibility guarantee if the screen to you is not right for whatever reason we'll take it back and give you a full refund. Uh, to buy the screen from Screen Surgeons go to screensurgeons.com click on buy a screen and find the Dell Mini 10 among the laptop model choices that you see and I'll take you right to our shopping cart page where you can buy it from. Okay, so once you buy the screen, uh, connect the connector as I instructed you, and put it back on, put the screws back on for the screen, and then put these screws back on that hold it to the screen assembly. Then work the bezel back in, snap it back in, and put the screws in, and you're good to go, and your laptop should be as good as new. And that's it. And once again, my name is Eugene Panarukovich. Name the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and have a good day.